Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Walking Dead video. So in this one here, I want to do another Q&A video. Uh, we're four days away until the show premieres. So first of all, thank you so much for, for all of your guys' questions. There's a lot of questions here, so I'm going to try my best to get through all of them. Um, if you do want to take part in these Q&As, definitely go follow the Discord. The link should be in the description of this video. I will be doing Q&As obviously every single week, and, and I do do Q&As every single week. And next week's Q&A will be next Wednesday after we have all watched episode one and sort of of all the hype for episode two so next week's q a is going to focus on like reactions to episode one and i guess our predictions and stuff for episode two so yeah we're back the walking dead is here and uh, let's get into the first question here q a is the ones who live premiering on wednesdays or sundays for amc slash amc plus it is going to be airing on sundays it's not going to be uh wednesdays or, or, or thursdays or anything like that earlier i know that there was sort of a mix-up in terms of the release schedules and whatnot for for the show but i think that was just sort of uh I think people probably put the date in wrong or, or the dates in wrong on Rotten Tomatoes. I believe it was on Rotten Tomatoes anyways. And so I, I think that, I mean, obviously it is airing every single Sunday and the episodes aren't going to be earlier for AMC plus though. I guess technically it will be a bit earlier. Like, like obviously, you know, it'll be available just sort of at any time on Sundays. Uh, you know, if you have, do you have AMC plus you can watch it at really any point that day. But, you know, if you're watching it on AMC, like for cable, then you'll have to watch it, obviously, in the evening slash nighttime. Q&A, do you think that the CRM already knew that Michonne was searching for Rick and that they're testing her to see if she was or if she has the will to go uh, search for him that far? Um, I, I think that would be really incredible, but I feel like they would really have to get into that later. Like, I think that would be a thing for, I guess, the end of the season in terms of a, a big reveal. So I don't know if they're going to be getting into that right away. And it, it really Really depends because like like i would say yeah for sure I, I could see that if michonne obviously knew of the commonwealth but like the only people that knew that michonne unless there was a spy in alexandria but the only people that knew that michonne left were really just the people that were sort of around and they weren't in contact with the Commonwealth and like really anyone else. And like Jadis left, like there was no connections really to Alexandria at that point. So I don't think a lot of people know that Michonne left. So um, maybe they found out afterwards or something like that. I'm sure that, you know, Rick is going to like know a lot more in terms of, you know, I guess that part to it and whatnot. But uh, I mean, it depends. It depends on some of the, the the story stuff here. Like that's why I'm so excited for, for, for the show, because like there's a lot of stuff with the CRM, their motivations, some of the story stuff with rick and all that that i'm just like i have no idea what is going on why do they want rick like why is rick there why is major general beale a character like why is he actually a character in the show when the show was focused on reuniting rick and michonne right like he has to serve some sort of role in the show and if he's not really in it a lot if the, if the story's not really explained after four episodes and there's only two more episodes left after that like that's kind of insane to me like that's how i know that there's probably a setup here for season two at the very end and, and I think that he'll probably play a pretty big role in the finale. Q&A, since you couldn't make it this time to the red carpet premiere of The Ones Who Live in New York, then is there a possibility that you could go to other red carpet premieres such as The Ones Who Live Season 2 or the last ever episode for Rick's story so you could meet the cast and meet up with fans? Yeah, I mean, I definitely, I will be going to one in the future. I just don't know exactly uh, which one. Like, if The Ones Who Live does get a Season 2, I'll, I definitely will go to that one. You know, if there's something for Daryl Dixon Season 2, I'll probably go to that as well. But it's just so like I wasn't really planning for it I wasn't really thinking about you know going to events like that at all and so when it just kind of came up I was like oh wait I could actually go to something like this like that'd be really incredible but yeah I have to kind of plan that a little bit better Q&A do you think we'll ever see Elizabeth Kublik and the other kids again since a, a Walking Dead World Beyond new season isn't likely to happen I think that would be incredible honestly Elizabeth Kublik was a really awesome character the other characters from World Beyond I think it's possible if they get into some some of the storyline with Portland. Like, I know in World Beyond, I believe the... Whatever place they were in got destroyed. I can't remember exactly what it was called, but that place got destroyed. They were on their way to Portland to warn them about everything. And so, I don't know what happened there. It kind of ended in a way like on a cliffhanger not really but we'll have to see where that goes like i don't know if the ones who live is going to get into that kind of stuff but i think in terms of elizabeth kublik just because of her role and everything yeah i could totally see her making an appearance in some way q a do you think rick and major general beale are going to have a bigger fight than uh he had with negan in the original show um i'll i think that it's going to be more epic and i think that the whole um scene of everything is going to feel way more intense kind of thing i feel like it's it's going to be just you know 
because it's a CRM and all that, I feel like it's going to be really just crazy. But in terms of an actual fight and just all of that, I don't see any of that really happening just because of, uh, I, I don't know. It's Gimple's storytelling, I feel like. I, I don't think he does things like that. I, I feel like, and I, I don't know if I would even agree with a, like just sort of a battle scene or fight scene kind of thing happening, but I feel like it's going to be more of, you know, talking about certain things, this and that, and it's going to be more of a showdown like that. Like That's kind of how I see it playing out. It's going to be more talking about like, why are we doing this, this and that, and just sort of getting into all the ideas of everything. Q&A, do you think the show will pick up right from the helicopter in season nine or in present time showing us flashbacks here and there like Daryl Dixon did? Well, I know that they're going to be playing with time in the first two episodes. A lot of the early reviewers were saying that the first two episodes really do play with time quite a bit. And then uh, the third episode, I think, is more set in the current time. So not entirely sure, you know, what that means in terms of, you know, flashbacks and a lot of that. But I think it would be really cool to see. I would love to see, you know, a scene of Rick first arriving, you know, after I guess what happened in season nine. I'm hoping so. I think we should in the very first episode. I feel like that's pretty easy to show us. So I'm assuming that we are going to get that. But um, yeah, I don't know if the show's going to start right there. Like, I don't know how they're going to handle, honestly, like the timeline of everything here. Q&A, what kind of content would you like to see from The Walking Dead after The Ones Who Live? Uh, minor character spinoffs, new stories, movies, prequels, Avengers type show where everyone gets back together. I would just like them to keep continuing what they're doing right now. I think right now they have such an awesome just universe and world set up right here for The Walking Dead where you have these different spinoffs airing every other you know couple of months or whatever. And the quality of them are just amazing. People are so excited and you kind of get a break from the characters for a little bit. And there's just a lot of hype in between. And I feel like the stories are just better overall when you focus on these characters separately. And I think the whole Avengers endgame sort of thing for The Walking Dead should wait like another four or five to six years even like just wait a little bit longer, you know, and I think just give us more of these stories here because I'm really enjoying the, the stories here like Daryl Dixon's uh, story is incredible it really is incredible with all the variant walkers and i don't want that to end anytime soon i want to get more of that so i say wait a little bit and then get into some of that stuff and in terms of other character spinoffs i guess they could do that but i would say just wait for a bit i don't think you really need to get into that right away though i guess it's it's obviously possible like they probably do have things planned i know gimple did mention something like that recently where you know, that they do have plans for some stuff or there's some ideas or whatever. I can't remember exactly what he said. Q&A, who do you think is in that coffin? Uh, Jadis or Donald Okafor? Well, I'm going to assume that it's Okafor. I'm going to... It's it's really just because, again, I've sort of been talking about that. I do wonder if Rick kills Okafor because of of that, that scene that was released in the trailer. Like, it just, you know, they're fighting and whatnot. And I wonder if he's more of just an episode one character if Rick kills him and then it's sort of a, a secret as to, you know, what's going on with everything and Rick can't say, but maybe Major General Beale is sort of very suspicious on everything. Like, I think Rick might have done it kind of thing. I don't think Jadis is dying like right away. I really don't. I don't even know. Like, maybe she dies in this first season, but I don't know. I don't see it. Q&A, do you think we could see Lance appear? Uh, that's one way that they can tie the Commonwealth with the CRM. It can be a simple scene of Rick walking, and we see Lance talking to someone. Yeah, I, th like, I, I talked about that in a, a video a couple of days ago. I think that Lance would be probably the perfect character to see. I know people probably want to see other characters and whatnot, like, like Morgan and all that, and I would love that as well. But I just, I would love to see Lance in terms of connecting the CRM with the Commonwealth. And like, if there was a scene of just Lance meeting someone, it could be a flashback scene where Lance is just there talking with somebody there. Maybe it's Jadis or, or somebody, and maybe it's just, it's really a nothing scene. But obviously us fans are going to recognize him and be like, oh, th that that's Lance. And that probably means this and that, right? Q&A, in World Beyond, the gas that was used to kill off Campus Colony in Omaha was green. The gas that the Croat made that the leaders of New Babylon was questioning Hurley about was yellow, and the scene where Michonne runs and yells scatter is also yellow. Do you feel this could be a connecting point between the spinoffs or coincidental? You know what? I'm actually not too sure about that. I would have to go and rewatch those scenes to see, I guess, what color the gases were in those scenes. Because for Dead City, I don't really remember there being a gas of any kind. But again, I, I really, I'd have to go back and rewatch that. Uh, and uh, I do remember the gas being green, I guess, in World Beyond. But I also thought that maybe there was some stuff where, like earlier on, where it actually was yellow. But I, yeah, I don't know. I, I'd have to actually go look back at a lot of that. But that would be really interesting. Like, I think, yeah, definitely connecting Dead City to a lot of this here is something that they have to do. 
do. I was kind of mentioning that before, like they have to make Dead City's story a lot more exciting. I think for the first season, it was fine, you know, getting Maggie and Negan sort of, you know, in this newer story. I think, you know, Maggie going there to find Herschel and she needs his help. Th that to me is perfect. That's a really good first season. It was a very simple story, you know, fine. But I do think for season two, you need to get into some more stuff here that makes the connections to everything a lot more exciting because like Daryl Dixon has variant walkers. There seems to be this whole thing connected with the CRM, even with that. And then we have the ones who live, which looks epic, right? So I think that, yeah, they do have to give Dead City a bigger story, but I'm going to leave it here. There's a lot more questions here. So I'm going to do another Q&A tomorrow and um, yeah, I'll answer the rest of the questions there. So thank you guys all for all of your questions. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.